Hi, sisters and brothers. So I am going to <laughs> tell you the dream that I had last night. The dream that I had last night was I was standing in front of um, a girl named Savannah. Now, out the side of her head, uh, there was a hole in the side of her head. It was like by her temple, between her ear and her temple. And out popped out of this hole was a worm. It was like a tapeworm or something. And there were, I was standing there with a bunch of people and I said, pull the quick. Cause I'm like, Oh, about any type of parasites or anything. I just, Oh, it just is like not good. Ugh. But anyway, so I said, grab it. Cause it was rearing up. The head of it was coming out of the hole of her head and it was rearing up like a, like a, uh, python or, or one of those, um, uh, I forget what they're called. One of those snakes, you know? And so I grabbed on to the top of the head and I started pulling and pulling very easily. Cause I knew I didn't want it to snap off back inside of her head. And so it was like long arm, you know, full arms length, pulling and pulling and pulling, trying to get it out of her head. And, um, I was spoken to in the spirit and I was told Savannah represents Israel and something happened and someone else grabbed onto it to help me pull. Well, they grabbed onto it and it broke. And the rest of the body snapped back into her head. And I woke up. Now, Savannah means a treeless plain. It's kind of like a tropical plant, grassy plain, but it ha it's barren, kind of barren with trees and stuff. That's a savanna. And um, uh, a worm in the Bible, the Lord refers to, calls it a canker worm. That's what it's referred to. And a canker worm uh, is talked about in Joel and in Jeremiah 51. Now, the canker worm could also be uh, a caterpillar or a larvae of a locust. Like in Hebrews, it's called the licking locust, which licks up the grass of the field. Now, savanna is a grassy, treeless plain. Probably the locust at a certain stage of its growth, just as it emerges from the caterpillar state. Uh, the word is rendered caterpillar in Joel. In Jeremiah, uh, it talks about a moth larvae, but it's in reference to a canker worm. The canker worm putteth off, that is the envelope of its wings, and, fl and fleeth away. Okay, and so that was like, whoa, okay. A canker worm... Uh, is referred to as a locust or a caterpillar or a beetle, uh, you know, kind of an insect. Um, the horse to ascend as the rough canker worm. Okay, so canker worms devour. They don't do anything nice and they turn into all these different things and they devour things. A canker worm, a kind of locust. For, from an unused root meaning to lick up, a devourer, especially the young locust, caterpillar, canker worm. Okay, and that's pretty much, you know, tapeworm. And if Savannah represents Israel, and this other dream I had about Israel with this Trojan horse uh, in there, and then the rodent was dead and came back to life, um, Israel is getting ready to be struck, you guys. And, um, I think some of it, the Lord's referring some of this to in Joel and in, I, uh, and Jeremiah 51, where it talks about, um, Miss, uh, Babylon, not mystery Babylon, but Babylon. And, um, where, um, let's see. Uh, I don't have it up right now, but Jeremiah 51 is talking about how the Medes came against 
that the Lord's going to destroy the Medes and how they came against Israel. And I, I just don't know you guys. And I think that America jumping in and, uh, bombing Syria caused a lot of problems and it's going to cause division in Israel It's going to cause right now, you know, division be or an attack on Israel. And then it's going to come back on us. And we're going to be attacked. We're going to fall. So I don't know, guys. Um, but this is just a warning dream. Um, something is about to happen to Israel. And um, I just want to put that word out there and share what the Lord has, has shown me. We are in the last days. And uh, me and Sherry were talking. And she was like, I think that... Um, the strike on Israel will be the beginning of the tribulation. And, and I agree with her. I agree. And then it's going to cause a strike on us. It's going to be all out just war, I think. And, um, but I don't know, use discernment, take it to the Lord and, and pray about it. And I love you guys and God bless you.